Emotions can be high at times like these, and certainly the city of Memphis is bracing for tonight. And many here will also be watching and likely feeling a wide range of emotions. I think that any of us who've lived in this country over the last 30 years realize that there are some issues with modern policing uh, that have to be addressed. Richard Riles has seen it all over the last 30 years and more. From his West Palm Law Office, the president of the Palm Beach Black Caucus says the issues now with Memphis police can bring out all sorts of feelings. Feelings we saw back in 2020, even in West Palm Beach, as demonstrators took to the streets. People talking, people uh, being uh, feeling free that they have a, a, a place in society, uh, that their, their voice is as important as everyone else's is, is really where we need to be headed. In Florida, though, a new law was put in place after those protests over George Floyd's death, the so-called anti-riot law, which generally prohibits blocking roads. Palm Beach County State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg says the law has faced challenges, but he also hasn't prosecuted any cases under it. For our office, we're always going to take a reasonable view of things. You know, we're using common sense, and so we're not trying to criminalize First Amendment behavior. Public reaction to Memphis will be watched closely everywhere, although Attorney Riles says police community relations here are generally good. I don't see the same level of discontent that is present in Memphis, uh, that was present in Minneapolis, uh, with the police and policing here in, in locally. Ryle says that good relationship between law enforcement and communities here can also go a long way to easing emotions. But he also says that new Florida protesting law could also have a chilling effect on demonstrations. In West Palm Beach, I'm Matt Sesney. Back to you.